uh, a gaming memory. I just bought an RX 7900 XT, swapping it for my 3080 Ti using an i9 9900K, 1440p, 240Hz. I really don't want to upgrade all at once. Will it be okay until I can afford a full upgrade? Just want your opinion. Thanks. Today's video is brought to you by Humble, the leader in awesome PC games, comic books, and software deals. Get over $200 worth of games that you actually want to play for just $12 with Humble Choice. More details after the video. Yes, it will be fine. I'm conf... 240 hertz on a 9900K, a 1440p. My first thought is, why a 7900 XT, you know, is that faster than a 3080 Ti? I suppose. We obviously it doesn't want the ray tracing, otherwise he'd keep the 3080 but Ti, but... It isn't faster by enough to bother. With respect, a gaming memory, why did you bother changing your graphics card? You had a 3080 Ti. See, what's hilarious is we get, I, I don't mean to pick on you, man, but we get some viewers who go, I'm running a GTX 1060 and I'm trying to squeeze another year out of it. Um, I've got 200 bucks for a graphics card. What should I buy? And then we got people over here replacing 3080 Ti's with 7900 XT's and, and wanting to know if they should spend more. This, it's such a, there's like two complete competing groups of people who ask questions that are so divorced from each other. Yep. Yeah, because the advice here is completely different to... Because if you're going to replace the 3080 Ti, you either go to the XTX or you don't bother. Which I wouldn't have done that either. The only replacement for a 3080 Ti would be a 4090. But he probably saw that price and went, and I wouldn't put a 4090 on a 9900K anyway. Um... Your CPU is long in the tooth, man. Your CPU is five years old. I, I, this is this is all. See, he's got an i9 9900K, which is objectively still a really good CPU. I mean, yes. I could use that today and I'd be fine. I replaced mine because I run a tech YouTube channel. I swap out hardware a lot. I can afford to, but not everybody can. If money were remotely a concern, if I didn't run a tech YouTube channel, honestly, I might still be running that. I don't know. It was fine. It was slowing down a bit. I could see where it was gapping. But part of the reason I could tell the difference was because for work, I had used all the new stuff. And so I knew what I was missing. Mm. The minute you replace that with a new, with you know, a 13900K or a 7950X, you don't want to go back. Nope. But if you never know the difference, I'm sure like being a car reviewer must suck because you go home to your old car and you've just driven all the new cars and your car looks stupid after you've driven all the brand new stuff. You know, car reviewers probably replace their car constantly. So just because I replace my stuff constantly doesn't mean the average person should. Correct. So he wants to know, should he replace his 9900K? And yet we probably have 50 people right now who watching would, us. Who would love to go to a Yeah, who are like, what? I want to upgrade to his system, man. He got rid of a 3090 Ti. 3080. Sorry. 3080 Ti, and he's got a 9900K. But he has a use case that warrants more CPU. I know. I'm just, I'm not picking on a gaming memory. No, I'm I know. It's amazing how you have, it's, it's, it's like we've got two different groups of people who don't even live in the same universe. Mm -hmm. And then people get mad at me when I give advice. They go, well, we're not all rich, man. Well, I'm giving advice to this guy, and you know, you should buy, I ju we just did a bite-sized tech about why a 100R graphics card used off of eBay is a great deal. We do. I do get that market. I understand when money's tight, there are some really good, inexpensive, you no, know, you're not gonna run 4K Ultra Max everything. You know what? If the question is, hmm, can I safely make my rent payment this month and eat food, or should I buy a video card? Pick the rent and food. Did you not buy 4090? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no idea. You know, I get that. So what? He really should have bought a whole new system then. I would not put a 7900 XT into a 9900K. It's a bit too much graphics card. Uh, his 9900K at 1440p, 240 hertz is going gonna, is gonna to hold he, him back. He's going to feel it. Um, the question is what should he do at this point? 
That's an interesting question. Now, he doesn't list use case. He doesn't list no. games. No. My inc budget. My inclination... Well, until he can afford a full upgrade. And what's your budget for a full upgrade? My inclination is to either... S well, if you can wait a year, Arrow Lake and Zen 5 will be out. A 12700K placeholder... He says he wants to move over to... I saw a... He wants to move move over to Team Red, so. Well, then get the seventy nine hundred X for three fifty. Yeah. Get a three hundred R motherboard. Get thirty two or sixty four gigs of DDR five for one hundred two hundred bucks, and wait for Zen five. Um. I'm new to it all. He says still learning. I'm no worries, the man. Thirty eighty Ti was wanting to upgrade, so I still have the thirty eighty Ti. Fair enough. I would have kept the 3080 Ti and replaced the CPU. There's nothing wrong with the 3080 Ti. I would, the, the CPU is what affects 1% lows, it affects level load times, it affects, mm. um, you've got a 240 hertz monitor, you know, you need, mm. honestly, that is what a 13900K is built for, or 7950X 3D. I don't normally love the 3D chips, but for 240 hertz monitor owners, okay, the three, you are the one who should buy the 3D chip. So he upgraded to a 1440p, no 4K. Right. 1440p, 240 hertz, That's 7950X 3D, but I think that deal sold out actually. If you buy the 7900X, it will be a noticeable upgrade over your 9900K. And then you can upgrade it. When Zen 5 3D chips come out, then upgrade to that. Humble is a company that prides itself in the almost $200 million raised for charity in the past 10 years. Everything they sell from the monthly choice program to the awesome bundle deals to the Humble store directly supports various charities. Humble Choice is the best deal in PC gaming, hands down. You get up to 12 games a month for just 12 dollars no commitment cancel any time and you get to keep the games forever you get individual steam keys that you can keep or you can gift plus you gain access to the humble trove a collection of 90 plus drm free games that you can download and keep forever as a bonus, you get up to 20% off the Humble store, plus the confidence of knowing that you're buying directly from the game publishers. Humble does not use third parties to source their game keys. All are 100% sourced from the publishers, so you know you're getting the real deal. Check out this month's Humble Choice Games using our link in the video description below. Using that link supports our channel and gets you awesome game deals that will keep you entertained for hours days, weeks, months, a long time.